Alrighty y'all, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to be making some canister Damascus for a project that I have coming up. I haven't made a canister since 2007, so I'm a little rusty. I'm starting off with a 2x2 can that's 3.5 inches long and has a wall thickness of an eighth of an inch. Step 1 is to weld on a cap and spray the inside of the can with white spray paint that contains titanium dioxide. I picked up this tip from Fire Creek Forge's channel and I'm going to be doing this in the hopes of peeling the can off later. To fill my can, I'm using some quarter inch and eighth of an inch 52100 ball bearings that I found online. For good measure, I cleaned them with rubbing alcohol to remove any contaminants. The steel powder I'll be using is 1080 with a 2% nickel content from Jantz. The 2% nickel will give more contrast from the ball bearings, kind of like 15 and 20 does on normal Damascus billets. My operation was to put some ball bearings into the can, then add some powder, going back and forth to ensure that there weren't any voids in the can. I added the smaller eighth of an inch ball bearings into the mix just to see if they give me a neat pattern in the final product since they should nestle in between the quarter inch ball bearing voids. With the can packed, I clamped the insert cap into the end and welded it on. I also welded on a little stub as something to hold onto at my tongs and lastly I drilled a vent hole into the can since I've seen some people get trapped gases in the can and have them pop. Before we get started with the forge welding I'm going to make a set of squaring dies for my press in order to give me the best chance of success with my canister. I'm sure some of you remember my hydraulic press rebuild but for those who don't I designed these dies and die holders with a nice big one half of an inch base plate so that I can have plenty of real estate to make new die configurations in the future. With the pieces cut out, it's time to start welding and this will give me the opportunity to try out these new protective sleeves I got from my parents for my birthday. For you cave dwellers out there, these will protect your arms from getting welder sunburn and I'll put an affiliate link to them in the description below. I welded these quarter inch risers onto the base plates just to give my dies the appropriate height. The angle iron I'm using for these dies are one and one half of an inch and they are one quarter of an inch thick. To get these dies lined up with each other, I welded the top set up first, then put it all into the press and used super glue to hold the bottom pieces of angle iron onto the base plate. I was then able to remove the bottom die and weld it up. I'm pretty happy with how these turned out, so now we can get on to forge welding our can. When placing my can into the forge, I can tell right away that I probably should have made the vent hole on the far end of the canister. It settled down eventually, but you can see here at first it was spitting out some of the powdered steel right back at me. I gave the can about 20 minutes of soak time to get up the temperature, and then gently set my welds in the squaring dies. I went back and forth into the forge and the squaring dies but made sure to take my time and kept the canister up to temperature during the process. With the weld set, I attempted to cut off the can. Honestly, I didn't have much success with this process, which I think is due to a combination of a small unstable vise, a small chisel, and potentially to can welding to the contents more than I thought that it would in some places. I etched the end of the can to see what was going on and decided to go nuclear and grind the can off with my angle grinder. Honestly this didn't take too long and I may get some slightly thinner 3 seconds of an inch can in the future to use this method intentionally. With the canister removed I welded on a handle and got it back into the forge to be drawn out into a billet. I stopped processing this billet around 3 8 of an inch thick in order to clean it up and see what I was dealing with before forging it into a blade. I ground out all the scale and pits on the 2x72 and then surface ground it to 320 grit on my DIY surface grinding attachment.
I etched a billet in a 50-50 ferric chloride and water solution for 20 minutes and then cleaned it up with some steel wool to reveal our pattern. Overall, I'm pretty darn happy with these results and I'm looking forward to making this steel into an epic blade. If you're interested in seeing that blade get made, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn the bell notifications on. As always, feel free to drop your thoughts in the comment section and I'll catch y'all on the flip side.